Diamondbacks with an impressive walk-off victory has now made this a series once again. It's Joe Mantiply, the opener for this game four. And they start him because left-handed, they're trying to get him through Schwarber, Turner, and Harper. There's a spinner, and it's a cold strike three. And that's how we started in game four. Schwarber is wrung up. Trey Turner now. And Turner shoots one to right field, a base hit. Trey Turner just keeps it pouring on right now. Amazing run of success. Brings up Bryce Harper. Turner was not caught stealing all year. And he's off. Throw to first, snap throw to second, and out. And officially a caught stealing for the first time since 2022. One two pitch Harper on the ground gobbled up by Marte last night's hero and it's a three batter inning the Diamondbacks coming up Cattell Marte back in the leadoff spot the big lefty on the mound the game four starter Christopher Sanchez last pitched September 30th that was one inning of relief bouncing ball Marte on the first pitch he sees Stadi gold glove finalist makes the play Carroll has struggled in this NLCS just one for 11 one ball two strikes to Carroll breaks his bat Sanchez flips it over to Harper for out number two the two one and a swing and a high pop up first base side foul ground goes Harper trying to get under it Stott coming over as well Stott is calling he'll make the catch Christopher Sanchez with a one two three first and Luis Frias is the next pitcher out of that bullpen JT Real Muto now with two away Frias deals a one two and that one is deep to left field Real Muto sending him back to the wall he makes a catch Guriel a great leaping catch up against the wall Another circus catch by Gurriel out there in left field. As the D-backs start to hit the second. Walker on the ground down to third. Bone backs up. Fields it. Across the diamond. High throw. Harper cannot get the tag down. Walker slides by. Grabs it with his hand. And Alec Bohm, who has been so good defensively, commits an error to start this second inning. One out of the inning down. There's Gurriel. And a pitch. We're going to ground ball back at Sanchez who's got it. He forgets how many outs there are. He throws to first and he'll get the out at first, but he forgot about Walker going to second. So Christian Walker in scoring position on what should have been a double play ball. Yeah, that's a straight pass ball here for Real Muto. And over to third base goes Walker. Runner at third now. Longoria oh, takes a ball. Ball four. I mean, the Diamondbacks have a couple guys at the corners right now. They're ready to score. Rivera had some opportunities in yesterday's afternoon yeah. game. Let's see if he can come through today with two outs. That wall line center field, a base hit. In the score is Walker. Emmanuel Rivera delivers with a clutch hit early. It's a two out RBI single. The Diamondbacks strike first in game four. Three big mistakes in the inning. Marte to step in and lead things off. And Marte breaks his bat, hits it to short. Turner's got it. A tough play here for Turner. Marte speeding down the line. He's in there. And Cattell Marte keeps his impressive hitting streak going. It's now 13 straight to start a postseason career. And Marte will take second base. And an opportunity here for Carroll. Carroll back up the middle, hits the mound. Turner's there. A productive out for Corbin Carroll. That'll move Marte to third. And Sanchez making his first ever playoff start. He's done here in the third. And Hoffman matches up against Gabby Moreno once again. The 2 2, and he shoots one to right field, a base hit. Marte will score. Moreno with an RBI single. 2 to nothing, Arizona. Kyle Schwarber leads off 2 nothing, Arizona. 3 2 pitch. Schwarber a drive into right field. Way back there. So long. Kyle Schwarber. His fourth home run of this NLCS. That home run for Kyle Schwarber now gives him the most among left handers in postseason history. And that'll bring JT up. Right off the end of the bat, little flare. That's going to fall for Real Muto. Just serves one into left center. He shortened up, delivers with a one out single. Real Muto to second base. And left hander Andrew Salfrank. Kyle Schwarber's telling Marsh, listen, his ball sinks, so you got to get him up. Marsh is 0 for 1. He grounded out to shortstop his first time up. In the air, left center field. That ball's hit well. Both outfielders on the run, and this is going to get down. A one hopper off the fence. Real Muto scores. And Brandon Marsh delivers the game's tying run. 
He got a fastball up. Team ERA coming into this game 147 by the Phillies. Bullpen 1.63. Perdomo, a fly ball shallow right, falling fast. Castellanos, he lays out and he makes the catch. Nick Castellanos closes on it to put it away. Terrific play by Castellanos for the first out. Schwarber leads off this sixth inning in the first four games this time around. And he does that a lot too. It's all Frank. His body language is not great right now. He is struggling. And he spins that one into the ground. Good block back there by Moreno. Block? Was it in his equipment? Yep, and that'll send Schwarber to second base. Right. And by rule, he gets stuck in the equipment. Turner takes a ball. Back to back walks. That's the one thing you have with Harper that's different than some other superstars. He wants to swing the ball. Oh, yeah. He wants to swing it so bad. 3 2. Harper draws the walk. Three consecutive walks to start the sixth inning. Ryan Thompson is coming on. They're loaded for the Phillies. Big chance here for Philadelphia to grab the lead. And friendship here, Alec Bohm. Moment of truth right here. See if Bohm swings at the first pitch. Thompson deals. Bohm does. Bouncing ball. That is a fair ball. Throw to the plate. Uh. And it's in and out of the glove of Moreno. Turner is going to score as well. On his way to second goes Bohm. The throw. He is out at second. A wild play. Time out here, time out. Two runs are in. On a bouncing ball up the third base line that Andy Fletcher called fair. And the errant throw by Rivera makes it a 4-2 game. Wow. The runners at second and third. And now Nick Castellanos is the batter. No balls, two strikes. Do it again. Castellanos back up the middle. Right there, Marte. Strong throw to get him. Crowd on their feet. Two on, one out. Go ahead and run at the plate. Guriel has one of the quickest bats on this Diamondbacks team. Dominguez. And a called strike three. 99 on the bottom corner. What a pitch by Dominguez. 38 years of age. Evan Longoria. Been in the big moments before. Dominguez deals. In the air to left field, sounded like he broke his bat, and Marsh will put it away. How about Sir Anthony Dominguez? One out in the top of the seventh. Here is Rojas. That's fair. Inside the bag. The speedy Rojas off to the races now. Over to cut it off is Smith. Rojas going for third, and the throw comes in, and he is in there. Throw is off the mark. Johan Rojas blistering around the bases with a triple intentional walk to Schwarber will put runners at the corners for Trey Turner speedy runner at third as well Turner in the air to left field coming on to make the catch Curiel Rojas tags throw to the plate not in time and it's a line drive sack fly for Trey Turner 5-2 Phillies lead two on now and the tying run will come to the plate Corbin Carroll will step up Carroll on the ground, Turner gloves it, goes to second, out there. Terrific play by Trey Turner. Big out to get at second base. He's going to go back to his rookie, Orion Kirkering, who faced three batters yesterday, Ronnie. First and third, two outs. Moreno takes ball four, and the bases are loaded. All right, it's time to buckle up here. This is where you need Walker to really be able to do something. Nine pitches, six of those breaking balls. And he deals a fast ball. He missed. A bases loaded walk. The merry-go-round is on. Paven Smith had a pinch hit single his last time up. Tying run at second. Smith on the ground. Harper is there. He'll go to the bag. And Orion Kirkering gets out of it. Craig Kimbrell entering this game in the eighth inning. But he has struggled here in his career. Under its second, Guriel with one out. Oh, Alec Thomas, who's got two postseason home runs, comes up here. He deals. Thomas in the air to right field. That's back. Castellanos on the run. And we are tied. Alec Thomas takes the ride of his life. Listen to this place. Bedlam. At Chase Field, Alec Thomas off the bench, gets a two-run homer to tie it off Kimbrell. To Jose Alvarado, the hard-throwing left-hander, who will face the right-handed inning, Gabby Marino. With two on and two out, get ready to do some damage here. In the air, left center, that's going to get down! Coming in to score, Marte! The Diamondbacks have the lead! Gabby Moreno puts him in front, 6-5! to five. And the closer, Paul Seawald, is on the mound. Another 2-2. And a call, strike three. Seawald.
at the back door. Breaking ball. The payoff to Cave. Swing at him as he struck him out. What a matchup. Wow. Two outs. Ninth inning. Phillies down a run. Kyle Schwarber at the plate. Schwarber drives one down the right field line. That is going to fall for a base hit. Into the corner it goes. Carroll picks it out of the corner. And Kyle Schwarber gives the Phillies some hope. Mundo Sosa carries the tying run for the Phillies. Has not been a hotter hitter in this postseason than Trey Turner. Phillies down to their last strike. Two and two. Turner a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Seawald closes the door. And the Arizona Diamondbacks have come back and won this ball game six to five. They have even this best of seven series.